Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to graph charts with integers. Now, graphing charts with integers is actually really, really neat because integers, all they are, are positive and negative whole numbers, zero included. So, on a one-dimensional scale, it's actually pretty straightforward when it comes to graphing them because the typical markings you would want to have integers. So if you have one, two, three, four, going the other way, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and so on. So when you're graphing those, all you have to do is figure out, when it comes to graphing charts using integers, just figure out where your numbers lie. So if you're graphing one, it's over here, negative two is over here. Now on a two-dimensional scale, the typical markings on the x and y axis are integers, unless you're talking about trigonometry for which integers are not recommended necessarily. But the idea here is typically you mark them as, for example, on the x-axis, one, two, three, and, and so on and so forth, negative one, negative two, negative three. Now, if you're graphing larger charts or larger graphs, you might want to space them out a little more, but that's something to consider depending on the problem. And on the y-axis, one, two, three, four, up like so, and then negative one, negative two, negative three, going on down. So again, you may want to modify the integers a little bit if you have larger graphs, but um, the idea is, generally speaking, you want to graph using integers because they're pretty easy to work with. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to graph charts using integers.